Well, howdy there, folks. Justin here again. Today is Throwback Thursday, and so that means I'm going to be building an old set from before my Dark Age. And today I'm going to be uh, going back to the castle theme with this set right here. It's Lego Castle Set 60262 Battering Ram from 1987, and it has 238 pieces. And uh, this has some of the Black Falcon uh, car uh, uh, minifigs and Crusader minifigs. So, yeah. And this can easily be combined with Black Falcon's Fortress to make a larger fortress, basically. So, alright. I, uh, I sorted things out. I got the minifigs here. I got the battering ram here. And I have the little fortification that the uh, that the Black Falcons are protecting in another bin. So let's start with, uh, oh, well first off let's start with adjusting things and then I will build the mini things. So. So there we have the Crusaders. Now for the Black Falcons. And here we have the Black Falcons. So we got the three Crusaders, and then we got the three Black Falcons. Now to build the battering ram. Yeah, all these black pieces. I admit, it is kind of hard to see exactly what I'm doing. Now what I just put together was uh, a couple one by one plates and one of the uh, one by one pieces with uh, what I've referred to as a horizontal gripper. Um, and in today's world, this would be hopefully one piece, unless Lego is artificially inflating the piece kind of a set, which they do. 
Um, but back in this time, at least I'm pretty sure that piece uh, had not been created yet. So it had to be constructed out of a bunch of smaller pieces. And here we have the battery ram portion of the of this set. So. Now it's time for the fortification. Lovely old wall pieces. Some of them have prints. Oh, and both of these are another example of uh, the two plates and the, the gripper that in today's world could be one piece. This is probably the best example in, in coloration difference. I mean, they're both they're both probably you know the same age. They're they're either they're either both from this set originally or they're from uh, the Black Falcon's Fortress. Ooh, here's an excellent example of discolored bricks due to light and or time. So, yeah. That one is, is, is pretty much pristine. This one, very yellowed. Very yellowed due to time and probably exposure to sunlight. Now, just a few years later, if this, if this set had been designed a few years later... I can I can guarantee you some of the differences that would that there would be in this build, because uh, just like I think I think it was one probably two years uh, after this set was when the pirates sets first started coming out, and they had pieces that would have been uh, uh, in this spot instead, but it was uh, they were angled pieces. That, that were along the same angle as these uh, uh, angled plates and so instead of instead of having to you know have this this, this basically three bricks uh, which is what's actually here 
um, it'd be one brick and then one brick, and then you could put the the one by two and the 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 one by ones up on there as crenellations. It can turn. So, it can fold like that, you can have it like that, like that, so. And, or you, you can you can have it at odd angles, like this, and with the, uh, the big four sides of uh, Black Falcon's Fortress, you can connect it with the Technic, uh, the Technic pin and the Technic uh, holes, so. I mean, yeah, when you have it when you have it turned like this, there I mean there are gaps that you know you could fill in with other pieces. Um, but that's of course if you wanted to keep it at this particular, you know, setup. So And where the battering ram comes into play, you see the door? The door and the battering ram line up just let me you know what, let me get my tray out of the way. And yeah, I don't see any spot for the, the other shield. So. so, must be extra. But yeah, the battering ram goes right up. Uh, the crusaders can, you know, go up and across and, and, and you know, hop over the wall and start attacking the, the, the black falcons. Um, while somebody else down here operates the ram itself. And it will punch into, you know, it will, it doesn't go very far. But it will it will punch uh, it, it will actually connect with the door itself. So, like you, you know, I, I'm I'm going to push the door closed. As you saw, the battering ram moved. But yeah, this again, you know, the the, the castle theme. I mean, I really hope that the rumors I hear of uh, a potential like castle revival next year uh, with a more mythic theme, um, in that I. From what I'm hearing, it might be called Mythica. Uh, no relation to the uh, uh, the bargain budget um, movies, uh, some of which have been funded through Kickstarter. Anyways, and star, Kev star Kevin Sorbo, or at least he's part of it. Anyways, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really hope that that, that uh, rumor turns out to be true because... The, uh, uh, I missed all of the Lord of the Rings sets during my Dark Age. I missed, uh, some of the, ca I missed the ca Castle Revival stuff. Um, I missed, a, I, there was a ton of things that I have missed, uh, in, I, that I missed in the 20 years I was out of LEGO. But, uh, but yeah, this has been LEGO set, LEGO Castle set 60262 Battering Ram from 1987 and has 238 pieces. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to keep this together for a while, uh, at least until I, after I build uh, uh, Black Falcon's Fortress. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you have. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, leave me any comments you have down below, and also please submit your any questions you have for the monthly Q and A in the comments down below. Uh, the Q and A is uh, tomorrow, um, so you have like you know less than 24 hours to submit your questions. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, uh, and bye-bye.